stuff for the boys. Oh, CKX sending us stuff still. There must be knowing that uh, we're trying to get everything ready for next year. Should we open one of them? Yeah, open a good one. Open a good one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna open mine. Okay. I always get something different. Like I had, this is my oh, Jesus. last one. Careful, the liquor store in here. This is my last one. Uh, they set you up pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a so nice like, bag. Not only do you only get the helmet, you get the, the goggles that come oh, with Oh yeah, it. that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, so they give you some other stuff. This is your GoPro tether. Probably oh. the first thing that everybody throws away is that little piece, some extra hardware. Another uh, chin breath piece. Oh. These helmets come with so much stuff. This is like a little eye guard or a little nose oh. piece. Oh, it's bright. Hey, this is the first, ooh, I've never had one of the gloss things on it before. So yeah, this was one thing. Is this a helmet video now? What the hell, this must be a helmet video now. Yeah, so they give you two different sets of goggles. This is, uh, Matches my one piece suit. I'm trying to think if they're any different. We'll have to go into those, uh, we'll go into these in another day, but that's not what we're here to do today. Yeah, maybe there's dinosaurs. We won't find dinosaurs, but we'll find wolves. Careful, there's huskies that might eat you. There's one of them. Oh, it's mad. <laughs> no dog. Hey, you know, dog. Hey, you know, dog. Hey, you know, dog. <laughs> uh, became a planter slash bottle depot. Are you guys mad? <laughs> the weeds plants are doing really good in there. Chicken wire and boards and Poor whatever else. So I gotta get this out now. Okay, let's get over there and take a look at the old machine. It's been a few weeks. I've been I've been working on my neck beard. It's coming in good, thank you. Just missing my fedora. That thing started that easy. It's been sitting there for two years. It started like third pull. For those of you who are new to the channel or have come around in the last year or so, you probably don't know anything about this thing. Uh, so I'll wash it up and we'll talk about it. This right here is my it was 86 or 87 Yamaha Phaser uh, 485. I built this actually a long time ago. Uh, here's a playlist if you want to go back and check out the videos of me riding the thing and me breaking the thing of it getting towed home, all sorts of fun stuff. I'll leave this playlist up there in the corner. You can go check it out. And if you have any questions about it, um, I've answered them a bunch of times and you will find the answer in one of those videos. And one, I even actually go over everything uh, that I did to it, uh, but let's check it out. For those who are new to the channel, we'll give a brief overview here of this machine. I bought this thing from my dad who bought it through my uncle. So uh, this machine, has actually been in the family for quite a bit. I didn't actually just buy it willy nilly. Uh, I think it's been in the family since brand new. This thing I actually did as a green mechanic. So I was uh, I was still learning. Um, I was trying something new and I had the phaser and um, I had a skid and I had a track. Then I said, ah, screw it. I'm not doing anything with this thing anyway. Maybe I can make something cool and stupid. Uh, which I think I was fairly successful in. I was green, things are ugly, let's go. And things turned out ugly in a lot of places, but it does work. Oh, we have skis. Skis are about an inch and a half taller. They're skis off a 2015 M8. The sway bar has been removed just to help uh, make it a little bit more tippy. We have a K&N cool air intake directly into the air box. We have a small LED headlight uh, for our seeing. I think this is a, I think it's a nine or a 10 inch uh, Power Mad riser paired with a set of 2013 era cat bars. Moving back to the tunnel, I don't actually know what the tunnel is off of. I think it might be off a skidoo of some kind. Um, and the reason I say that is because I actually had to bring in the tunnel a little bit. It was a little wide and Skidoo uses 16 inch wide tracks. Um, we have a 15 inch wide track of this, of course. So I think the tunnel was off a of Skidoo of some kind, but it could also be a cat tunnel. I'm not exactly sure what the tunnel's off of. It was given to me. 
Down in the bottom, we have a 159 uh, track with two inch paddles, 15 inch wide, 2.86 pitch or whatever it is. I think I butchered that one. I think I got it wrong. Um, same pitch as the track that came out of it, which was, I think, the 114. Now we're up to a uh, 159, and the skid is out of an 01 vertical escape. So the phaser is back in the shop, along with uh, Mighty Whitey, of course, and of course the uh, Alpha Turbo. And last, but certainly not least, is the 1970 uh, Monoski, what is this thing, an Alpine? Uh, you can check out the video on that. We still have that one uh, torn apart on the table. I'm still sourcing parts for it, but you can check out that video uh, if you want to see what that thing's about. We have multiple projects on the go. Oh, man, this thing started so freaking quick. I was getting the truck ready with the tow ropes, and I was getting ready to drag it out of there. Yeah, here I am, the guy posting videos how to take care of your sled over the course of summer. Meanwhile, I just... I just drove that thing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't throw fuel stabilizer in it. I didn't clean the clutches. I didnn't drain the fuel tank. It was like empty. And I was like, ah, screw it. Parked in the back there and starts after two pulls after two years. Up behind me in that box. You see that one with the yellow air hose sticking out of it? That has been traveling with me from home to home since I built this thing. So literally three, four, five places I've lived in the last few years. That stupid little box of stuff has come with me absolutely everywhere. I'm gonna do a little bit of reverting on this thing, not a whole lot, but just make it a little more rideable. Yeah, all those years go by, and I still have the original headlight pod that would uh, would fit on there originally. I would, um, I kind of would like to remount it a little bit. I still have the original handlebars, the original, uh, the original snow flap. I know how, uh, I know how sweet you guys think this sled is, um, but believe it or not, it's kind of a pain to ride. Don't ask me what I'm doing with it, because the truth is, is I don't know. I'm gonna make it more usable though, because believe it or not, and part of the reason why it doesn't come out as cool as you guys think it is, and as cool as I think it is, is because it's not very practical to use. I guess we now have four sleds in here. The Turbo, the Alpine, the Phaser, and the M8. The boys are all excited getting spooled up for the season. There's four sleds in here now, which uh, makes me think that, um, you know, maybe I need to get rid of one of them. I, I didn't think uh, that Phaser was going to start as easy as it did, let alone second or third pull. I thought I thought getting it running was going to be a video all in itself, so we're already ahead on that one. Thanks everybody for watching. The boys are getting all spooled up and excited for winter, and I hope you are too, because it's going to be an awesome year. Um, thanks everybody for watching this video. I'm not even going to say, you know, the deal. There's a bunch of buttons. Hit all of them. Did, I'm video over.